Okay, so everything should be up and good to go here. All right. Um, so here's the, here's what, how I'm going to go ahead and do this. All right, so I'm going to use the equation here, 3x plus 2 And then this line, this half here, is the equal sign. So 3x plus 2 equals 4x plus 4. And I'm going to kind of show you um, with the manipulatives here um, how we would go ahead and model that. Okay. I always like to use the green bars for my x's. So on this side, I can see that I have three x's, one, two, and three. And I have a plus two. I use the small yellows for my positives, okay? So here we have three x and two, three x plus two. Over on this side, we're going to say that we have four x's. One, two, three, four. And four positives. So that's what it looks like. And that's a balanced equation, okay? This over here is the same as this over here, okay? Now we have more of some things, we have less of some things, but we know that these are all the, gonna be the same, okay? That right now they are balanced. Okay, so the first step we, we do when we need to solve this is we say, let's get all our X's together, okay? Let's put all our X's together on one side. And I always said, if you remember, move the smaller coefficient, okay? Move the smaller number with it. So if I have three, I have four, it's easier to move three. And especially when you're using manipulatives, it is easier to get rid of three than it is to get rid of four. So we get rid of three from this side, okay? So we're going to subtract three x's. So when we subtract three X's, there we go, right? We got nothing left over here. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to subtract three X's from this side, okay? Because whatever we do on one side, we have to make sure we do on the other. One, two, three, okay? Now what that does is it gives us a new equation, okay? That's still equal and it's still balanced. So we have, we end up with one X over here and we end up with two over here, okay? And that's what usually what we end up writing. We say, okay, now I have two equals one X or I'm just gonna say X plus four, okay? Now the next thing we do is we have to go ahead and get this X by itself. So we have to make sure that we're taking this, we get rid of this four. Now, when I'm using manipulatives here, I have to think to myself, I have to say, okay, I'm gonna take away four, right? Okay, which is really kind of the same not really kind of, it is the same, as me saying, I'm going to throw in four negatives into this situation. Those are my red blocks are my negatives. Okay? And then I know that anytime I have a, a negative and a positive, those will cancel each other out.
Okay, so that cancels out there. But again, whatever I do on one side, I have to make sure that I do on the other side. So I'm doing my minus four on this side in order to keep this balanced. Okay. So here, I'm going to add my put my four negatives in here. Three, four. So when I put my four negatives in here, I can go ahead and say, okay, make sure that I, every time I have a negative, it cancels a positive. And now I'm left with the situation that shows that over here I have negative two equals x. So x equals two in this case, okay? All right, sometimes it's a lot easier. It's a, it's a little bit better when you guys have like a concrete visual and you're able to make sure um, make sure you're, you're kind of following along and seeing how everything's connected, okay? So I hope that helps. Would you guys like me to do one more modeled out or um, would you like the rest of the time to work on, uh, work on your own? The